All right, guys. Finally sleeps here. Again. Try this again. So, yeah, take two. Uh, on April 23rd, I had a stream where we did a bunch of team upgrades and uh, upgraded some boost. I think it was the day Hazard, re a big Hazard reset, one of the first big ones where we were still making like 30, 40 million coins on the reset. During that reset, there was a bunch of changes that happened. And then afterward, I lost a ton of content and started a very long, uh, not argument, but ordeal with EA trying to get it to figure out what was going on and why my boost was missing and what was going to happen from EA's standpoint. So I promised that once it was all figured out and I... EA had made a decision on how they were going to respond to it, then I would put something together. I would stream it, let them, let everybody know how it worked out. If it was in my favor or against me or whatever happened. So we're going to check that out at the beginning of the stream, and then we'll go into uh, more important stuff. So yeah. on April 23rd, I started a stream uh, during the reset. Well, tickle mootedies. FIFA Ruben just resubscribed for three months. Happy three months, Boomer. Keep up the awesome content. You're the next one for partner. Hashtag Boomer for partner. Waited long enough to resub, so here it is. Ah, thanks, thanks for all the laughs during quarantine. Hope you and the fam are safe, people love. Thanks, Ruben. That's awesome. Okay, so on the 23rd, this is where it started out. This was the, you see on the screenshot, this was the live stream. Uh, started out at the beginning with 16 marking on my boost, which is something I've been working for for a long time. Upgraded it, went ahead and did the upgrade to 17, used the 850 boost, spent the 3 million coins, did a bunch of other stuff during the stream as well. Some training, uh, so, uh, upgraded the team, uh, jumped the OVR up. Uh, in addition to that, I was still training for Belgium squad. Uh, this was the Belgium squad before the, the stream. You can see uh, there's a lot of players that still needed to hit 88. Then after the stream, I jumped everybody up. This was training within it. So after finishing the stream, shut the game down, come back a couple of hours later, and this is what I've got. Level 16 marking well, boost. Well, one hand ship the other one, see which one fills up first. Drops back to 16. I lost all 850 boosts, lost all the coins. You can see the my coin balance is all the way down to 3 million. I lost all the XP that I had done in there. We lost, I went back to this Belgium squad, which is where it was at before the stream began. Lost the players that I dumped into them, everything, all gone which was enough for most people to just get pissed because you lost all those resources. It just, but for me, it was the boost. That dropping back to marking 16 boost was a game changer for me. Nobody messes with my boost. That's 850 marking boost. So here's the deal with 40 different boost, a drop rate of 2.5% that you're going to get the boost that you want. Um, that means it's 34,000 boost you have to collect to recover the 850 marking at a 2.5% drop rate. So to get back what I lost, I got to collect 34,000 more boost. That... It, to say I was a little upset is a little uh let's see it's the understatement of the century so this was my first response from ea that basically they're aware of the issue uh they're looking into it and that they're going to do what they can to get it sorted out so wait i wait i wait some pretty I went ahead. situations in my life but nothing has ever sucked more ass than this yeah 
I waited for a while. I reached out on Twitter. I reached out on Discord. I uh, sent multiple tweets. I, I went ahead and opened another help ticket because this ticket just uh, magically got closed. Uh, so I had, at one point, I had three help tickets running with three different EA uh, reps working on it. And everybody came back with the same kind of stuff that they're looking into it. They're looking into it. The mods are taking a look. Uh, at the meantime, I had reached out to Jason on um, Discord and basically said, look, here's the live stream. Here's the proof of what happened. I've got everything here. I'm just waiting on an answer. Just let me know what's going on. So during all of that, two of the help tickets get closed from EA. And then I get this response on my last one from EA. It seems to be right, a boys, bug in the game. Prepare to be dazzled. Yeah, it seems to be a bug in the game. No shit, it's a bug in the game. We all know that. That's pretty much apparent. And the fight got worse at that point. I set an ultimatum. I said, look, if we don't have anything by a specific date, whatever it was, I think it was last Wednesday, then I was going to take some major steps. So I get this back from Jason. Uh, that Finally understanding that we lost... There's progress lost. So I get a little excited because it looks like, okay, EA's actually stepping into it. Something's going to get done about it. Uh, the ticket from EA gets closed. I get a uh, another ticket that comes back, and someone says, okay, we understand. This incident's still under investigation, and they're trying to find the best way to restore the content. There's a specific part of this that I feel like I'm just getting strung along. Now, history on YouTube and Twitter and everything, I've always been a staunch defender of EA. I know what goes into making one of these games. Everybody complains and bitches about the hackers and content updates and everything. And EA has always struggled I've to get the support there. I've seen some pretty situations in my life. But nothing has ever sucked more ass than this. Uh, you know, I've, I understand why everybody gets frustrated, but I've always been the one to say, look, there's a lot going into this. Um, we EA's there. Press, press, press. They'll usually come back with an answer in some way or, or another. And I've never had this kind of a situation that I didn't get a speedy response uh, just by pressuring it. The, the You know, the... Squeaky wheel gets its grease. It's the way it's always been. As long as you press and you're intelligent about it, they usually come back with something. So this being drug out for weeks was a new scenario for me. So then finally, after all this is said and done, I get another response through the other day. After talking to Jason, he says, look, there's someone they've looked into it. Somebody's coming back. You'll hear from EA today. So I get this. Uh, pending far too long. Yeah, obviously. Uh, they need some more information. So I'm getting, you know, it's like that carrot on a stick out in front of you. Is this ever going to go away? Am I just getting strung along until I forget about it or quit bitching and quit bugging them? Then I get this. We sent the above grants to your account. They've been deposited directly, so you may not see a pack opening. Please let me know if you have any issues receiving or finding the content in your account. Very sorry, your case was es wasn't escalated sooner. So, at this point, I'm kind of excited. Like, obviously, something's going to get, you know, let's see what EA did. So, here's what happened when I opened the game up. I open the game up today. Here's where it sits. So 8 million coins get deposited into the account, which is good. But where's my boost? Look at my marking. I got my marking back. Actually, I got over 1,000 marking back. So 8 million. And then here's the bonus. Counter. Because I upgraded counter during that stream, too. I got an 850 counter back. The XP was the other thing that I wanted to see what had happened. 1.5 million XP. So before it was all said and done, 
My balls, your face. So before it was all said and done, I ended up with 8 million coins. Uh, what was it? 1,000 marking boost, 850 counter boost, and 1.5 million XP. I would have to say that that is a pretty positive result from EA. Just bitching, complaining, keeping on top of it, pressing, pressing, pressing uh, until they finally came back. So, and I see some people are asking if uh, it had anything to do with me being a streamer. I never pressed the streamer I issue. I got a big fucking boner right now. I never pressed the, the streaming issue with it as far as like, hey, look at me, look at me. I'm not a big streamer. I mean, it, we got, what, 73 people watching on Twitch right now. I, I don't consider that huge. I, You know, it's, it's a small soapbox to stand on saying that we're going to uh, basically press that would make me look more like an asshole than it would anything. If this wouldn't have went in my favor, would I have uh, really started to bitch and maybe streamed about it a lot? Probably. But would it have done anything? No. Come on. It's not going to make a change one way or the other. But me, yes. Maybe because you filmed it meant you had proof. Yes, I think that was the deciding factor. Tingling right now. I think the factor that I had everything recorded which I always record everything. If I'm playing, I'm recording. If it's either Twitch or I'm recording to my phone, if nothing happens, I delete it. That kind of a thing. Do I suggest you do that? Maybe. Having that proof did make a difference. Whether or not it was the full difference, I'm not quite sure. But I can definitely continue to record everything I do.